Thursday night baseball coming your way from lovely Petco Park. Tonight, the rubber match of this three-game series between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the San Diego Padres. It's baseball. It's the show, and it comes your way next. Blake Snell will be the man on the mound for the Friars. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you want to know if this guy is one of the better pitchers in the league? Well, how about this? Batters are hitting under 200 against this guy for the year, so he's done a good job against both righties and lefties. And I'm looking for him to be just as dominant in this one. So stepping in is Leading Kevin Newman. He'll get us started in this one the under the lights. Kevin Newman. First offering. And that's taken for strike one. Guys, the swing and friars as they take the field here tonight. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty V. Hey, d -Row, we're looking at a team that's playing some pretty good baseball right now. Through the first five games of this homestand, four and one, and looking for some bigger and better things. Yeah, we had a chance to sit down before the game after BP with the manager. He was really pleased with the way his team has played in these last five. Let's see if it continues today. The 2-1 home. Yeah, a little wild here early on. Doesn't look like he's totally settled into the game yet. Hopefully, he can find it soon. Line towards center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. With that, the Buccos have their leadoff man aboard to kick off the inning. I know we're just one batter into this game, but this pitcher is going to have to be aggressive in the strike zone. He cannot consistently fall behind and give these guys 1-0, 2-0, 3-1, or he's going to have a long day. Stepping in now, Anthony Alford. He swings and grounds it to short. Profar for one. On to Hosmer, but it'll come too late to get them both. So next to hit is Key Brian Hayes, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. First pitch coming, here it is. With that base running threat on first base, man, does that change the pitcher's whole mentality. This guy at the plate should assume nothing but heaters coming right at him. Now the 0-1. So let's take a look at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Joe McDonald. Hey, Joe McDonald. He's a tough guy to figure out sometimes, D-Row. One inning, he'll be giving that inside corner. The next inning, he doesn't give much of that inside corner. His zone fluctuates a lot. You know, Dan, you can see some definite confusion on the face of some hitters today. Questioning in the strike zone. One pitch is a strike on the outer half. That the next time, it's a ball. Kind of a little cat and mouse with the umpire when you should be focused on the pitcher. More in. To the plate now, Colin Moran, as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. The 0 1. Two takes, and now he's down 0 and 2. I'm not sure, but he may have been taking to give a guy at first a chance to run. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. One left for Pittsburgh, and now the Friars will get their first chance. No score. Mitch Keller starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been pretty good his last three starts. A whip under 1.20, so he minimizes the amount of base runners. He's a tough customer. It'll be fun to watch him to see if he's on point early in this one here today. And stepping in, Tommy Pham. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. 
as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Dero Dan, we look at this Pirates ball club as they enter play here tonight. They dropped another one last time out and in fact they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Maddie, this is the big one right here. They split the first two games of this series. You want to steal one right here and be feeling good about yourself. Yeah, Dero, I think one of the things you want to do, you get to the third game, you'd like to win this series and finish it off by winning game 3. It's always nice to win a series whether it's at home or on the road. So this is a big one for this ball club. Two and one the count. And now pitch on the way. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Giving chase is offered. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Batting second. The center fielder. Right. In the hit will be Trent Grisham. First delivery to him. Hit out towards second. Newman fields it cleanly. And there's out number two. Base is empty, That's two good. away, and that will bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. First offering on its way, and he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Reynolds has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. We've played an inning, still nothing, nothing. So here is Brian Reynolds. Leading off for Pittsburgh, the center fielder, number 10. First Brian offering. Reynolds. Oh, in. The 1 0 home. Eight, two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Tried to work in the backdoor breaking ball there for a strikeout, but he just couldn't quite get it to come back to the corner. That's a really tough pitch to hit if you can spot it. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. Down the left field line. Around first, digging for two. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Yeah, I think he was sitting on the fastball, so that he got the changeup. He was way out in front of it, but he kept his hands back long enough to keep it fair down the line. That's not always easy to do. And that'll bring up Eric Gonzalez. And that misses for ball one. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. The 1 0 home. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Ball taken there. 2 and 1 now. Has a look. Now the pitch. He's certainly pushing the throttle and pulling it with those four pitches. Statistics class tells me I'm sitting fast. That's in there. Base hit. And he's safe. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. Hey, this has the makings of being a pretty big inning, D-Row. Oh. Lead off double, now a base hit, and all of a sudden we're looking at first and third. Yeah, sometimes you wake up and just get smacked in the mouth right here. He's going to have to start executing pitches. He cannot leave a ball over the heart of the plate right here. He's going to have damage on his hands. The numbers on the year, 272. Two home runs and 11 RBIs. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ballgame. 
great work to do a job right there. He's not a big power bat, so he was looking to get a fly ball to the outfield and give his guy a third a chance. Up next for the Buckos, Jared Oliva. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. Digging in next, Mitch Keller. Pitcher, Mitch Keller. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. The 0-2 home. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. One in the inning for the Pirates on a couple of hits. On now to the bottom of the second. It's the Pirates one. And the Padres nothing. Here's Manny Machado now. He had eight at-bats in the series. He's collected the three hits. Baseman. Manny Machado. And now the first pitch. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Newman onto the grass. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Batting fifth. The first baseman, Aaron. Now one down with the bases empty and standing in here's the first baseman Eric Hosmer. And the pitch. Check swing called strike 0 and 1. Bases are empty one man out. And this will be lined into center field, and they've got themselves their first hit of the ball game. Batting six, the right fielder. Will. Here's Will Myers. Fire. Two hits and eight tries for the series. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. The 1-0 home. Hosmer leads off first with one away. Swing and a miss on the heater, and it's two and one. Some guys are great low ball hitters, but most guys, especially guys with pop like this, they're hunting for the ball belt high and above. So that was a nicely spotted fastball down in the zone. Late swing there on the changeup. Couldn't make up his mind, I guess. It's strike two. Oh, and this deflects right off him. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. No mistake what he was sitting on, looking for a dead red piece of cheese, middle of the plate, and he didn't miss it. Striding in is Jurickson Profar, trying here to plate the tying run from second. He 
he's ready. Here's the first pitch. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. The 0 1 pitch. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. First and second now, one man out. Bouncer up the middle. Oh, what a stop! The throw. Excellent effort, but no chance to make the play at first. That's a base hit. Dave, I'm going to tell you, every pitcher appreciates that. You have a runner in scoring position. Great job at knocking that ball down, keeping it in the infield. Yeah, no doubt. And as a former infielder, nothing puts a smile on our face better than trying to save runs for you guys. We know how much it means, and he made a heck of a play. That diving stop will prevent a run. Now let's see if the pitcher can get us out of it. Victor Caratini stands in as he looks at ball one here. Lifted down the line and left. A 1 1 is a ball below the zone. Hit out towards second. Newman brings it in to second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. More baseball from downtown San Diego right after this. Now to the plate. Here is Kevin Newman. He singled first time up. The second baseman. Kevin. And the pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. And with that, there you get a look at what's happening in the race in the National League West. Next up, Anthony Alford reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. And the pitch. And that's high for a ball 1 and 0. Alford is a guy that has a lot of speed, no doubt about that. And while that's certainly a weapon for him offensively, it could be argued that it benefits him just as much on the defensive side of the ball given the position he plays. And not only just speed, but first step quickness speed. He's able to track balls down that other guys cannot get to. And sometimes that's half the equation. Here's the pitch. Slap hard the opposite way. Myers is there, and they go down in a hurry here as his side is quickly retired. Pirates are down on just four pitches, but they're up one to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Blake Snell. No pitcher. He's set. Here it comes. Line drive base hit. With that, the inning opens with the Padres getting their leadoff men on base. Whoa, that ball was close. Whizzed right by his head. I the think bat. he probably heard it Don't go by, you. guys. That's pretty Nobody. unsettling for a pitcher. Trust me, yeah. I know. Standing in now, Tommy Pham. As he lifts it in the air to right field. Alfred's under it. One down. So Number next to bat will be Frank Grisham. From the stretch. As he lines it hard to the right side but out of play. 
Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Lifted the other way to left center. Reynolds calls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Has a look, now the pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. So a two-run shot to left center. 12 home runs for him now thus far. And it gives the Padres a two-to-one lead. surprise with that swing of the bat this guy is simply one of the best in the game right now there's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league now the third baseman. and in steps Manny Machado as it's on the ground toward the hole for the first with time to spare and the side is retired Padres get a couple of runs in the inning on the two-run home run. We're through three at Petco Park. It's now two to one, Friars. Ready now is Colin Moran as we begin the top of the fourth. Number 19, Colin Moran. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Wind up and the 0 1. Hit in the air out to left field. He'll put it away without much trouble, and the leadoff man is retired here in the fourth. The center fielder. So one down, no one Brian. aboard, and that'll bring up Brian Reynolds. First pitch on its way. Aye. Boy, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Got him to go down swinging there. Brian Reynolds is sent packing for the second out of the inning. Eric. Now at the plate, Eric Gonzalez. He collected a base hit his first time up. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's one off oh. now. Maybe he gets hot. One and oh, the count. And now pitch on the way. And he oh, won't off. bite at that one either. It's two and oh. And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's two and one now. Now here's the pitch. A bouncer to the left side. He's got it. Throw to first beats him easily and the side is retired. Down in order go the Pirates. Our score remains two to one. Bottom of the inning now, and set to go is the veteran first baseman, Eric Hosmer. 
The first baseman, Aaron Cosper. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And this is taken in for out number one. The right fielder, number five. Digging in will be Will, will Myers. Myers. And the pitch. Two runs, five hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. That evens it up one and one. A one and two count to Will Myers. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old police act and climb the ladder. Still a ball and two strikes. The next one two pitch. High in the air out towards shallow right. Alfred's under it. Two gone. So two are gone in the Padre fourth. And Jurickson Profar will be the next to bat. He's set and the pitch. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Newman's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. We played four full. It's the Padres two and the Pirates one. All set for the start of the inning. And next to hit is the catcher, Jacob Stallings. The catcher, Jacob Stallings. Now the first pitch. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. Liner towards second. Oh, but he robs him on a super diving catch. Love that play right there. I don't care what position you're at. That ball gets roasted at you. It takes some serious hand-eye coordination and some quick reaction time to be able to make that catch. In now, Jared Oliva. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Skied into straightaway right after it is Myers. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Up next, to the Up next, Mitch Keller. The 0 for 1 for him Mitch here in this one. Keller. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one. Mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown the first pitch strike to. Boy, dear, were you talking about frustrating as a pitcher? You have the pitcher up with two outs, and he extends the Kevin. inning there with a base hit. Yeah, it's funny. I've hit eighth in my career, and the grind was to try and get the pitcher up so you could waste that out and flip the lineup over. This guy took it into his own hands and did just that. By getting a knock, now we could have some issues here. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The 1-0 home. Pitch is popped up. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball. And that's how the inning comes to an end. Pirates leave one. They still trail it here two to one. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and now it'll be the catcher, Victor Caratini. The catcher, Victor Caratini.
Now here's the first offering. Sent on the ground out to second. Newman fields it cleanly. Throws in time, and that's out number one. And now here is Blake Snell. He singled in his first day beat. Yeah, he showed like a little prowess with the bat right there, Dan. I'd be surprised if they don't attack him a little bit more carefully this A.B. First pitch of the A.B. now. It's no wonder this guy's pitch count is so low. If they keep swinging on the first pitch, he's got a real chance to go deep into this one. A one pitch on its way. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Oliva will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. So the bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Two quick outs in this inning so far. His pitch count is really down. I think one of the keys is he's been attacking the strike zone early on, making these guys swing the bat so far in this one. Swing and a shot toward right center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And this will bang up against the wall. The relay, but he is in there with a triple. Of course they feel good about the triple, but I know how manager's thinking. He's in the dugout wishing that triple would have come when some guys were on base. They've left a lot of guys out there in this one. We'll see if his teammate can bring him home. Into the box, Trent Grisham. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Ready with the 1-0. Hey, he's going to have to forget about that triple right there and bear down on this next batter. Have confidence in his catcher if he wants to bounce something and be on the attack lifted down the line in left and this is going to wind up a foul ball looking to keep this a one run game the pitch lifted in the air to straightaway center Reynolds is on the move for it he gets there to make the catch and that ends the inning no damage done after the two out triple the three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this Leading off for the Pirates, the right fielder, number six, Anthony Alford. First pitch on its way. As he'll take a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Now that pitch tells me this guy's feeling frisky right now. He's on. He's got everything working. Ball one. Now the one and one pitch. Skied into very shallow right. And the sixth inning opens with a fly out. One away. Key Brian Hayes digging in now. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. First delivery to him. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit on the ground to third. Taken in by Machado. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Next to dig in, Colin Moran flew out last time up. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Now the slider gets the call in the bottom part of the zone. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine.
Now the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Pirates. They're down 2-1. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. He went deep for a two-run homer in his previous at-bat. He turned around that fastball and drove it out of the park in his previous at-bat. So there's got to be a good chance they mix it up right here on him and try and go off speed. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder is on the move. But he's not going to get there, and he's headed for extra bases again. The relay throw, and it's in time as he's out at third as the good relay gets him. To me, that was just way too big of a risk. If you're leading off an inning and you've already got two bases easily, pull up and pat yourself on the back. You're already into scoring position, but now they've got nothing to show for the leadoff extra base hit. So now to the plate, Manny Machado. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Alford is there to take this ball in, and Machado is down on just one pitch. Eric Hosmer to the plate now. The first baseman, Eric Hosmer. He's set. Here it comes. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. Swing and a line drive. Leaps and makes a terrific catch. And with that, the side is retired. Another look as he goes way up to get that one at short. On to the back third tonight. Stick around on the show. Ladies and gentlemen. So the call's gone out for the right-hander Mark Melanson as he'll take over on the mound. Mark. Mark. I said. Seventh inning ready to roll. And digging in is the outfielder, Brian Reynolds. No, you're only down one right here, but the exploding stuff that's coming out of the back end of a lot of teams' bullpens. I mean, just north of 95 plus stuff diving all over the plate. It's gotten a lot tougher to scratch across runs against these teams' bullpens. Um, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That's not an at bat he or his hitting coach are going to be happy with at all. It's bad enough to go down on three pitches, but none of them were even in the strike zone. That's a bad look. At the plate now, Eric Gonzalez. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Melanson's ready. 1 0 on its way. It's swung on and hit in the air toward the line and right. In there, a base hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. And there's your tying run at second base with a one out double. Finally, a little now something bat. for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. As he'll chase one up around the letters here for strike one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one, our score. Fouled away. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. And it's fouled away. Another one-two delivery. 
Oh, that's out. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. So he froze him for the strikeout. Jacob Stallings goes down for out number two in the top half. Jared Oliva. At the plate, Jared Oliva. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And he popped him up. Profar shading to his right. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the tying run in scoring position. One left for Pittsburgh. Our score remains 2-1. to one. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Cody Ponce will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Adam Frazier is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. So now into the box is Will Myers. He flew out in his last no AB. Almost, Matt. Yeah. Almost went deep his last oh, AB. Yeah. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Here's the first pitch to him. Line to the right side. And there's a base hit. So a chance for some insurance here to start out the home half of the seventh. The batter, number 10, second baseman, Jurickson, Profar. Jurickson Profar digs in next as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Ponce stands six foot six and throws from the right side. This is his second year as a major leaguer. From the stretch, a curveball hit right back at him. There's one on to first, and they get them both. The catcher, number 17, Victor Caratini. Next to bat will be Victor Caratini. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. First offering. Two out, nobody on. hit in the air down the left field line and that'll get down for a base hit and now it'll kick around in the corner and he'll make it to second base now with two gone We'll grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 24. Oh, yeah. Trying to keep the deficit right where it is, the pitch, as he sends it on the ground to first. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't want to chance it even with two outs. Now He looked a little bit out in front right there, but he's able to pull that ground ball through the hole for a single. Stepping in now, Tommy Pham, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2-0. Oh. Hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. The set and the 2-0. This is in the air out to straightaway center. 
Reynolds is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Padres leave a pair as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Drew Pomerantz has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 15, Drew Pomerantz. So here's Adam Frazier, and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. And the pitch. As he grounds one briskly to short. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now so the lineup flips the over and piece. digging in, Kevin yeah, Newman struck out in his Newman. last trip to the plate. Third baseman hugging the line here, now the first pitch. Hit to short. Reined in. And there are two away now. Couldn't have been much closer at first, and as show track will demonstrate for us, it took a throw of over 90 miles an hour just to beat the hustling runner. Really an amazing show of arm strength on that play. Standing in now, Anthony Alford. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Mm, 2 and 0. He may be down 2 and 0 after those first two pitches in this AB but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They didn't miss by a whole lot so it's not like he's all over the place. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. That's in there. Three and one. Four pitches. All takes. He's showing a lot of patience here. And I like that from a guy like him, Matty. He can do a lot of damage on a base pass with his legs. So there's no reason for him to get overly aggressive if he's not. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. Nothing across here this half. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Padres lead it two to one. Stepping up is Trent Grisham. No hits for him yet in the game despite his team's offensive onslaught. Now here's the first offering. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. One and one the count. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Weak grounder down the line at third. And there's one away. So one man gone for the Friars in their half of the eighth. And up steps the big bat of Fernando Tatis Jr. First offering. A great job pounding the zone strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, you got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. When you're leading by one run, you want to do everything you can to add to the lead and give your bullpen a little breathing room. It makes a big difference. So double here goes a long way towards making that a real possibility. Chris Stratton answers the call now, looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. It'll be the cleanup spot for the Padres. Manny Machado. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive.
Now the first pitch. Tatis, the runner at second with one away. Grounded back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. And that's the second out. And he is in there. Next up, up is up. Eric Hosmer. The prior history in this matchup. Eric. He's just two for nine. Hosmer. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Will this be a big out out of the bullpen? Hayes is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Padres leave one. They lead it two to one. Keone Kella comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one. And up next is Key Brian Hayes. Tough situation. Down one here on the road, trying to score off one of the game's top closers. They've got their work cut out for him. Now here's the pitch. Ninth Hayes. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Hit back up the middle. He's got it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Colin Moran. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a liner. On to first, and now the Pirates are down to their final out. So now it's Brian Reynolds. Here's the first pitch to him. Pitch popped up. He makes the catch, and the Padres have taken the rubber match of this three-game set as this ball game is over. Wow, you don't see a closer finish better than that very often. Only needed four pitches to slam the door in their face and salt this game away for his guys. Close one tonight, two to one, the final score. San Diego led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Blake Snell earns the win, his second. Mitch Keller pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. 
Rice. Keone Kella earns the save out of the bullpen, his 13th of the year. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious San Diego Padres, two runs on 11 hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the Pirates, one run, five hits, no errors. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 33 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please Drive home safely.